hello everyone welcome to figma tips and tricks tutorial today i'm going to share a trick to create vertical tab system using figma variables so let's start with an example so here in example i have different tabs which is having ux ux factors tab 3 tab 4 till 7 now while i'm clicking on ux so it is giving the heading and the description of the ux and while i touch on the or tab on the ux factor so it is related to the ux factor and accordingly tab 3 tab 4 ux factor and ux so how to create using the figma variable so it's very easy let's start with this So here I have taken the frame and in this frame I'm going to take the rectangle to create the tab and this and then we need a text so it will be tab 1 so we'll take the same width And here I'm going to make the center line middle and then you can change the font size tab one. Now this is the tab one. Here I'm going to give the stroke so it will look like this and we can change the stroke color. Next hide the background color and the same tab I'm going to copy it using the all and keep it here make the color this and here the stroke color will be the same so this is the active tab so here I'm going to give the name as active tab the so next once this is done Make the group and say tab one. The same way I'm going to just copy this and make the tab two with a little space. So here I'm going to say this tab two and the text will make as tab two. So the same way we can have the tab three and name this tab as tab 3 and here is the name for this make it tab 3 so this is done now going to create the local variable so before that i'm going to create the content accordingly so for that need a rectangle and it depends if you have the long content you can use the scroll or you can have like this and create the accordingly the rectangle means tab content so here this is the tab content which i'm going to give the stroke no background color and the stroke color is same as the tab color now if you want to make it radius you can give here to pixel to pixel so this is right here and the next is this is the tab it is starting from here we can have here a text tab one header and you can take this left align in the same way we can use this for the content also so this is for the tab one 
here we have 24 pixels here we can change this for body content I'm going to take the 20 pixel and align together so now tab 1 header and tab 1 contains here so this is the background and this is the tab 1 content so if you want to background consistent so you can leave it or if you want the different background for the different tab so you can make it this also as a group and say tab 1 content so tab 1 content is done now select this entire group tab 1 content and just copy it and place it here only and you can see this as a tab 2 content and hide the tab 1 content for time wise and here you can see tab 2 header and tab 2 content here so tab 2 content is done now I'm going to just same copy this and paste in the same place so I'm going to hide this and first we'll rename this as tab 3 content and here I'm going to say this as a tab 3 header and tab 3 content here so this is done now this is the tab 3 which can hide so I'm going to make visible all now it will look like this so come to the local variable so this is for the example I'm going to create the new collection where I will say tab system so just will say vertical tab system and here I'm going to take the boolean which will be the tab 1 the same way duplicate it tab 2 and the same way duplicate for the tab 3 now I'm going to make the tab 1 true and remaining tab 2 false so what we are going to do here this active tab I'm going to pass through because this all are active phase so active tab pass through and here you can say tab 1 same way for tab 1 content you can pass through tab 1 now going with the tab 2 so tab 2 select the active tab pass through tab 2 and here also tab 2 content pass through tab 2 and the same way here for tab 3 active tab pass through tab 3 and the tab content 3 can use the pass through and here so overall I am going to use the fig pass or and height feature which is using the pass through with the local variable now if you want to make the align you can use it so you can place it here So next is uh, tab 1 is active here so going to the interaction where we are going to place the interaction for the tab 1 2 and 3 so tab 1 come to prototype interaction on click and select condition so here we can say like tab 1 equal to false if it is false then will set variable tab 1 true the next is just add here set variable remaining two tabs should be false so tab 2 false and here again tab 3 false so what is happening exactly I am 
I have passed the tab content as well as tab with the local variable which is created here as a tab one. So no need of multiple interaction, just we can use the tab one as true and false boolean value. So tab two is a false, tab one is true and tab three is a false. So content will also hide accordingly once we pass through the variable. So here for this, which I have given here like a tab one, true and two and three going to be false. So what I'm going to do, just copy this interaction and paste for the tab two. So select the tab two, control V, it will paste. And here I'm going to change this tab one to tab two. So select the tab two. If tab two is false, make the tab two true. And here instead of two, we'll make the tab one. So all okay, all fine. Now I'm going to copy this interaction and paste for the tab 3. So here, instead of tab 2, we'll say tab 3. And for tab 2, it will change to tab 3 as true. Remaining 1 and 3. So instead of 3, we can say tab 2 false. Now all is done. So going to preview this. Before that I will make the frame a little smaller. Okay. Now we can preview. So this is tab 1, tab 2 and tab 3. So in next this tab name also we can you change using the local variable uh, with the text so how we can do that the trick is here so we'll come to the local variable so this is all for the tab true and false here i'm going to add or create collection which will say the name here tab content and we can use the string here so this will be the tab name and the next duplicate the same you can say tab heading and the next duplicate this tab content Now this is for the tab one, I'm going to use the mode and here I will say tab two and here tab three. So this is the tab one, instead of tab one I will say like a, um, article, article one and uh, the heading will be the same article 1 or we can say article 1 heading and here we can say article 1 content so same way we'll take this article 2 this is just for an example you can use any of the string here And here article 2 contained so same here as article 3 article 3 heading and here article 3 content now how we can change the content so this is the text here and here is the apply variable so tab name article 1 and then this is the content here so tab 1 content this is the tab 1 header 
again we'll pass the value here article 1 heading and this is the content which we can give article 1 content so same way we can do for other also how we'll do so look at here like uh, this is the tab 1 and here I'm going to say the tab 1 which is the mode by default auto it will be the tab 1 only so I'm going to just say tab 1 here and this is the tab 2 so here I didn't pass the value so tab 2 tab name so it will come as an article 1 only we need to change it from here tab content tab 2 so it will come reflect as a tab 2 so come to the tab 2 content and this is the header so apply variable header and uh, this is the content so apply variable as a content now going to change this tab to content here as a mode tab 2 so it will reflect as a tab 2 so article 2 content okay so it is in hidden so once we we'll click on that then it will appear so come to the tab 3 here it is a uh, tab 3 so apply variable then say the tab name and change the mode as tab 3 or either okay so tab 3 contains so header will change from here heading and from here heading and the content now we'll select all and here we'll change the mode as a tab 3 now we'll see whether it is reflecting or not so article 1 article 2 and article 3 this is all done so what is the benefit of using the local variable and the different mode anytime we can change the content so I will look at the local variable here this is the article 1 we can say like a tab 1 or uh, like uh, any of the like other text we can use like a text 1 so it will directly reflect there so here text 2 and here text 3 so no need to again and again go and change the content so now if uh, i want to create as a component so we can use this and this component is ready whenever you want to change it it will come along with the variable here so you can change easily and you can use anywhere so how is the video please write on the comment thank you thank you very much